Hi friends, it's Mr. Mark. Hey, thank you for being here. I would love it if we explored another one of the great stories from the history of classical music. But I'm not just gonna ask you to sit still and be quiet and listen while I read. I need your help bringing one of these great stories to life. So let's get our notebook and find a story for today. And oh, here's a good one. This is the story of the great Italian opera composer, Giuseppe Verdi. Now, opera is a staged work where most of the lines or all of the lines are sung. Opera tells a story, and there are sets to build and costumes to sew, there are lines to memorize and music to rehearse. Opera is a lot of work. In fact, the literal translation for the Italian word opera means work or works. And that brings me to what I need you to help me with. And you know what? Let me bring out a friend who loves opera. She is a, a, a quite an opera enthusiast. In fact, she is the world's most famous operatic octopus. Her name is Octavia. Hey, Octavia, come join us. Oh, how I love to sing. It is my favorite thing. Hi, Octavia. We're about to do a story about the great opera composer, Giuseppe Verdi. Oh, I love Verdi. Yeah, I know you do. I've heard you sing Verdi before. And we're actually going to sing some Verdi together. Now, friends, here's what I need you to do. Listen carefully. Every time you hear me say the word opera, you are going to sing this response. Bravo, bravissimo. Let's try that. Octavia, do you want to demonstrate and maybe the kids can sing with you? Okay, here we go. You ready? <clears throat> Bravo, bravissimo. Ooh, I, I think I can hear them. That sounded very good. And did you know that bravo and bravissimo are cheers in Italian? Very good things to hear in an opera. Yeah. All right, so are you ready? So listen carefully every time you hear me say opera. Bravo, bravissimo. Yep, just like Octavia did. Here we go. Giuseppe Verdi was born in 1813 in a small Italian village. He became his church's organist by age eight, and as a teenager wrote his first cantata. He wanted to study at a conservatory in Milan, Italy, but was turned down. While in Milan, he went to La Scala, one of the world's most prestigious opera houses. Opera houses. Oh, is it time? Bravo, bravissimo. There he heard great works by Rossini, Bellini, and Donizetti. This inspired Verdi. He wanted to compose opera. Bravo, bravissimo. His first attempt was modest, but it was good enough to earn him a contract to compose three more operas. Bravo, bravissimo. His second attempt was a comic opera, Bravo Bravissimo, which was a complete flop. He wouldn't write another comedy again for a long time. But Verdi's first huge hit was the opera, Bravo Bravissimo, Nabucco. It has a famous chorus, Va Pensiero, Fly Thought on Golden Wings, with a theme of liberty and national pride, audiences adored it from the start. And as recently as this century, there was serious discussion about making it Italy's national anthem. Over the next several years, Verdi wrote one hit opera, Bravo, Bravissimo, after another, Rigoletto, La Traviata, and Il Trovatore still consistently rank among the most popular operas, bravo, bravissimo, in the whole world. Verdi was a gifted composer who understood the importance of a good drama. Three of his works are based on plays by William Shakespeare. And Verdi was a masterful melody writer. Street musicians and gondoliers sang the melodies of his operas, bravo, bravissimo. In fact, while composing Rigoletto, one melody was so good, he knew it was going to be a hit. He made everyone involved in that opera, bravo, bravissimo, promised to not sing it or even hum it outside of rehearsals. He wanted opening night 
to be the big unveiling. And sure enough, the melody became a huge hit. It's the melody, as a matter of fact, that we've been singing this whole time. During this time, Verdi made enough money composing operas, bravo, bravissimo, that he could have retired right then. Later in life, Verdi, Verdi slowed down and wrote fewer operas, bravo, bravissimo. One work, Aida, was commissioned by the Egyptian government to commemorate the opening of the Suez Canal. Verdi's final opera, Bravo Bravissimo, was Falstaff, based on another of the works of Shakespeare. Today, it is considered a masterpiece. And after all those works he wrote with dramatic plots and sad endings, Falstaff is a comic opera. Bravo Bravissimo! Friends, thank you so much for joining us for another great story from the history of classical music. Hopefully you've learned a little bit more about Verdi and learned a little bit more, too, about opera. Bravo!